After more than a decade of service as Grand Rapids mayor, the community tonight celebrated George Hartwell's retirement. New tonight, we spoke with the outgoing mayor and mayor-elect Rosalind Bliss about the challenges ahead. The 24 Hour News State's Coco Maca boys in studio with this story. Coco. Good evening. The city of Grand Rapids has seen a lot of changes under Mayor Hartwell's leadership, but there are still projects to address, like restoring the rapids, funding our parks, and upgrading the Indian Trails golf course. Now, those projects will be left to Mayor-elect Rosalind Bliss. It's the, the end of a, one era, the beginning of another, and I feel very good about it. At the retirement party today, the community reflected on that era and talked about some of the things that have been accomplished in Grand Rapids. I think maybe what I'm most proud of is the way this community has embraced the whole idea of sustainability and has moved in such a positive direction. And what the city will need to work on once Mayor-elect Rosalind Bliss takes on the position, including affordable housing. But all the new housing that's coming on is, is market rate, and, and so we're going to have to find a way to keep those in balance, and that's not easy to do. That'll be a real challenge for her and the next commission. That's just one of the issues Bliss is preparing to face. And we also have a lot of issues that we need to tackle. So there's issues around land use and affordable housing and eliminating racial disparities and making sure that we are still an environmentally sustainable city. She's following in the footsteps of Mayor George Hartwell and his predecessor, Mayor John Logie, both well known in the community for their leadership. But she plans to make the job her own. I am who I am and I'll bring my own personal personality and style and skill set uh, to the position and and I'll make it my own just as they both did. As the community said their goodbyes to Mayor Hartwell and three other city officials, the focus is now on what's next for the city of Grand Rapids. When you have a great city, you have to address multiple issues at once uh, and as well as keep it moving in the right direction. We specifically asked the mayor-elect how she plans to tackle the issues, and she simply responded by saying, we have to do it together. Live in studio tonight, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24 Hour News 8.